Hello and welcome to my GTA Full Immersion Series Part 3. Today we focus on driving with a racing wheel, like my Logitech G27. The realistic driving mod from part 1 of this series is already in game, because we want to build our immersion higher and higher. A little info right now, I modded my GTA single player. Never use this tutorial to mod your GTA online, Rockstar will ban you. By the way, some mods in this series can make missions impossible, so better use it to explore and free roam. The downloads. You just need the X360 CE Xbox controller emulator for this. And of course the Logitech drivers for the wheel. Links in description. Installation. First step is to disconnect all controllers from your computer except your racing wheel. Set up your racing wheel. Right click on your Logitech profiler in the system tray and go to settings. Open the settings of your wheel and go to settings. A lot of settings, but there you set your wheel to 720 degrees or lower. 720 is good for cars, but almost too much for bikes. To install X360 CE, just copy the program in your GTA main folder. Make sure you start it as admin. Start X360 CE, create the xinput dll file and search for settings. There are my old settings. You have to use the default settings. In this menu you can choose how to control the game. I changed the left stick up to 3rd gear and left stick down to 4th gear. This is to do a wheelie or stop you on a bike. Really useful. I click on record and choose the button or axis on my wheel. Under left thumb set the anti-dead zone to 15% and the dead zone to 2. By the way, you can use this emulator for old PlayStation 3 controllers as well to emulate the Xbox controller. Smash that save button and you're ready. If you want to play with your gamepad, just plug out your racing wheel, plug in your gamepad and start the game. The in-game test. Let's see how well we can race our cars now. That's for now with this tutorial, thanks for watching, don't forget to like, share and orgalop my channel. See ya next time!